This part examines the Paris Codex and shows alignments in Maya temple art. We've looked at the complete codices, the Dresden and the Madrid. A third codex is the Paris Codex. Unfortunately, most of the surviving pages are fragments with not enough detail to show alignments. Here's an exception, page 3. A simple test of authenticity is whether the Paris Codex has the same set of conventions observed in the other codices. Does it have eyes or other body parts that are aligned? Yes. Two eye lines are shown. Both originate on eyes of the multi-headed dragon stool. Do all hands appear to be signing? Yes, all hands are showing a different sign. Does the page show an arm with a wrong hand? Yes, this god has a right hand on a left arm. Does the page show hands with the wrong number of fingers? Yes, this god has a three-fingered hand. Does the page show feet that don't match their legs? Yes, this god has two right feet. This god is also levitating a head. Page 20 of the Paris Codex supports four eye alignments. Three lines go through the eye of the third god in the top row. Note that the dragon eyes in the bottom row are chalk eyes, upside down. These hands are wrong for their arms. These hands have fewer than five fingers. So the Paris Codex has the same alignment features, hand signals, and the same types of purposeful mistakes shown in the other codices. Does temple art show the same conventions observed in the codices? The temple art we've looked at incorporates all the features except one, wrong-handedness. Here is a mural from Bonham Pock. It supports many eye alignments. Here are 12 lines that go from eyes of warriors in the bottom row to eyes in the top row. Some of the three eye alignments involve eyes that are quite far apart from each other, making accidental alignments highly improbable. This is a part of the top row and middle row of the mural. It has four eye alignments. The horizontal line goes through six eyes. The line that goes through the eye in the alligator headdress links four eyes. Note that hands in the mural show different signs. This part of the same mural shows one more warrior to the left. It also shows more eyes of captives. The result is three more eye alignments. One alignment involves the warrior farthest to the left. The second alignment links the eyes of three captives in the middle. The third alignment originates at the eye of the middle captive below and goes through the headpiece eye. This part of another mural from Bonham Pock has two eye alignments. The first originates in the head that is only partly visible on the left border. The second originates in the eye of the central captive and goes through eyes of two warriors. The full mural would generate more alignments. Many hand signs are hard to see. This fragment, from San Bartolo, supports two lines. The first connects three eyes.
The other involves a heel and two eyes. Note the two-handed signs. In all these murals, characters seem to have five-digit hands. In some Maya art, however, hands have different numbers of digits. This is a picture of a rolled-out vessel from Copan. The left figure has five-fingered hands, but the rest of the figures have hands with four digits and three digits. The female has long fingers. Finally, this altar picture from Copan shows a four-fingered hand and four-toed feet. In summary, the Paris Codex has the same set of features as the Dresden and the Madrid. Temple art conceals eye alignments and depicts characters signaling with their hands. Some temple art also shows hands and feet that have fewer than five digits. Part 6, the final part in newly discovered Secrets of the Maya, presents three secrets. These show that mistakes and concealed alignments to glyphs signal where a hidden meaning resides.